Welcome to Wild Pilates Online. We are on location here in the beautiful Rees Valley just outside of Glen Orkey. Today we are doing an express inner thigh and oblique workout using the Pilates ball. Let's get started. Come down to a seated position on your mat. Take the ball and place that behind the shoulder blades, right to the base of the shoulder blades. Bend your knees. Let's reach the arms over. We're mobilizing your spine. Circle the arms around. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Come up. Hold on to the back of the thighs. Up and over. Mobilize. Stretch. Chin to your chest. Circle around. Give me two more. Up and over. Circle around, really nice. Mobilize that spine. And circle around, hold it here. Well done. We're now leaning over the ball, taking your hands behind your head. We lift up, so it's a little chest lift up to the sky, then we go down. We lift up, awesome. A big strong exhale to come up. And as we do that, we relax the weight of the head into your hands. Awesome, we crunch it up. We feel these abs draw in and down to your spine. We lower down. As you crunch up, make sure there's still this nice gap under the lower back. You're not jamming it down and closing that gap. Instead, keep your spine long. Hold this one up. Left leg to a tabletop. Tap the foot as you lean over the ball. And then we rotate the right shoulder up and across towards the knee. Tap down, lean over, nice and slow. Up, rotate, awesome. And we twist. Draw your abs in and back. Now, when you twist, try to get the ball to move a little bit under your shoulder blades. Really rotate from that upper back for three. Nice, give me two. Our last one, hold it up. See if you could twist a little more, see if you could crunch a little higher, and then we pulse up and up. Up to the knee, eight, seven. Last five and four, nice and controlled, three. Give me two and one, well done. Place that foot down, lift the other, tap it down as we go over, and we twist and rotate. Tap it down. Twist. Really nice. See if you can get a nice big twist from the middle of the waist and also lift that left shoulder up towards the knee. Tap it down. Up towards the knee. Really nice. If the ball doesn't feel like it's in the right position, you're welcome to move it a little until you feel like you've got some support. The ball is going to make it more challenging. You've got a bigger range of movement and it's unstable, which means you have to work the abs. Hold it up, abs in, twist and pulse. You go up to the knee, but you also focus on the twist from under your shoulder blades. We're breathing, five and four, three, last two, hold there, breathe in, lift a little higher, well done, take the foot down, lean over the ball. I want you to straighten both legs now. We kick your left leg up as we come up into the chest lift. Lower it down, the right leg up. Lower down, lift it up, lower it down. Really nice, and lift. Let's add a twist to the straight leg. We go down, opposite shoulder to the straight leg, lower down. We go five and four. Last three. Give me two and one. Well done. Okay, carefully come off the ball and we're going to place that between your heels. We go all the way down. I want you to take your legs to a tabletop, holding onto your legs for a second. From here, turn your toes out, turn your knees out. We are working the inner thighs a lot as well. Crunch up, squeeze the ball, give it a good squeeze. We go down, crunch up, we go down. Crunch and reach your legs, squeeze, 
we go down. Now you don't have to reach the legs if this feels like it's a little too much. Good, four more. Three more. We reach, give me two. And your last one, you're doing well. Your legs are either in tabletop or they're straight. And we squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees, keep the ball where it is. We're doing so well. Okay, legs in tabletop from here. Kick your legs up on an angle, straight. Reach them up to the sky, bend to tabletop. Out on an angle, up, bend to tabletop. Reach. Up to tabletop, give me three. Up to tabletop, reach up, tabletop. Crunch higher, last one. Up to tabletop, hug those knees. Take the ball and place the ball between your thighs. So not between your knees, but a little bit lower between those inner thighs. Okay, I want you to shuffle your feet a bit further away from your backside, lift your toes, lift your hips up and hold. Wrap these abs around, we've warmed them up. Lower your hips, drive it up. As we lower your hips, scoop the arms up or reach the arms up, lower down, awesome. If it's more of a challenge, you can hold your hands up, drop your hips, drive it up, drop, drive it up. Three more, we're doing so well. Two more, last one, hold it up. Abs in, feel the connection, squeeze the ball, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Five, four, three, last two. Hold the squeeze on the ball, drop your hips an inch, drive it up. Drop your hips, drive it up, speed that up. And eight, seven, six, last five, four, three, two, I want you to hold it up. Squeeze and release the ball 10 more times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last two, last one, well done, come down, place your feet fat, flat on the mat, lift your hips up, squeeze the ball, so I want you to shuffle your feet a little closer together now, hands down, straighten one leg, take it down, try to hold the ball there, straighten the other leg, take it down, lift your hips a little higher, abs wrap and support that lower back, reach, Wide across that collarbone. Three more. Two more. Our last one, hold the leg long, squeeze the ball. We're gonna pull in on the ball. Squeeze, squeeze. If it's too much, both feet on the mat. Absolutely fine. If you can, lift your hips a little higher. Five, four, three, give me two, and one, we hold. Big breath in, big breath out. Place the foot down, lift your hips up again. Straighten the other one, find that support. Squeeze in, squeeze in, big deep breaths. Abs in, really nice. Lift higher through the hips, five, four, three, two, hold there, breathe in. Squeeze a little more, take the foot down, curling down, well done. Make your way onto the side, we're holding onto the ball. Hand just in front of your shoulder, roll your shoulder back. I want you to drive your hips up, reach up and over with the ball. We lower down, good. Work hard to push up and away from the mat. Lots of room between your ear and your shoulder. Three, we go down and two, give me one. Well done, come down straight to the forearm on that side. Lift your hips up. Top arm comes up, top leg comes up. It's a side crunch, pull in, elbow to your knee. Big reach and lengthen, abs pull back, back, back. Pull it in, reach, in, we reach. Nice, lots of room between the ear and the shoulder. Good, pull it in, we reach. Nice, three, we reach, two, and reach. Last one, reach, hold here, reach the arm up. If you can, 
come up into a full side plank. If you prefer, stay on your knees. We go down with the arm, up with the arm, down with the arm, up. Good, pull your abs back. You're nearly there, it's not a long series. We're going to do four, three. Give me two. Last one, hold here, breathe in, breathe out. Well done. Okay, let's work these inner thighs. Come all the way down, hands supporting your head. Rest the top knee on the ball. That helps to keep your hips stacked. Straighten that bottom leg. Lift the bottom leg up. Top foot just relaxes down. Pulse it up, pulse it up. If you really want to challenge these inner thighs, you could have your little ankle weights on. Good. Breathing. Now feel the abs draw in and back towards your spine. We do three. And two, hold it up. Little leg circles, we go up and around, up and around. Think about the height of that circle. You try to lift it a little higher each time. It's up and around, up and around. Four, three, last two, hold it up. Pulse it up for me. Five, four, give me three, two, hold it up, breathe in. Lift it a little higher. You can do that one more time. Breathe in, lift it up. Amazing, come down. The ball, bend your knees, tucks in beside your hip. We lean over it. Now, bend the bottom leg, straighten the top leg. Hand comes down. You are resting the weight of your head into your hand, pushing up, lean over. Good. Reach out through your toes. Up, we come down. Reach, we come down. Really nice, we go down. Now, as well as thinking about the height, think about the length. Reach the top of your head, away from your toes. We go three, last two. Our last one, we hold it up there. Okay guys, drop your head an inch, drop your foot an inch, lift up, drop, up. Big deep breaths. I want you to push a little higher. I want you to pull your abs back a little more. We're going to go for another eight and seven. Good. Last five. Good. Okay, hold. We do five more full. Go over, push up. Only four. Long line. Three. Up, last two. Give me one. Well done, okay. Carefully push yourself up and we're coming over to the other side. Roll your shoulder back and down. Hand comes to the side. Drive it up. We go down, really nice. Up. We go down. Keep moving, keep working with me. Three. Focus on driving up, using those obliques. Two. Last one. Come down to your forearm. Set your shoulder, bend the bottom knee, lift it up. Good hold on that ball, pull it in, side crunch. Reach, lengthen, pull your abs back. Shoulder is well away from your ear. Pull it in, pull the abs back. Amazing, pull it in. We reach, 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 reach. I focus on the length. Big side crunch, three, reach, two, give me one. Well done, okay, hold, arm comes up. Come straight up to a full side plank if you can, or stay on your knees. Arm comes up, arm goes down. Push away from the floor, good. Four, really nice, three, last two. Last one, hold there, lift a little higher, breathe in, breathe out. Whew. Okay, let's take the top knee down onto the ball. Straighten the bottom leg out. Head is resting into your hand, lift the bottom leg, hold. Abs in, start pulsing. Okay, so let's give the abs a little rest and work hard with the inner thighs. Lift it up, lift it up. Again, if you need more of a challenge, you've got your ankle weights on. Abs pull back. 
Good, and you will absolutely feel it without those ankle weights. Good, five, four, nice and high, three, last two, hold it up, the circles. Up and around, really get the height. Up and around. Really nice, amazing. Up, I want you to focus on the height. Lift it up towards the sky. Circle around. Three, two, give me one hold. Reverse. Good. Relax your shoulders, pull the abs back. Five, give me four. Three, last two, we hold it up, we pulse. Draw your abs back, keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, last three, two, hold it up. Well done, okay. Let's take the ball, tuck it right into your side. Your new favorite oblique exercise, I'm sure. We go all the way down, it's really effective though. Head rest into the hand, bend the bottom knee, adjust as much as you need, straight in the top leg. Okay, head rest into the hand, find the length, push up. We go down, top hand, try to relax the shoulder as much as you can. Top of the head reaches away from the toes. So we are after the length as much as the height. Good, push it up, side crunch, lower down. Good, four, three, last two. Okay, last one, we're gonna hold there team. Drop your head down, drop your foot down, up. So it's a pulse, breathe. Good, really nice. Drop a little, lift a little, keep going. Five, last two. Our last one, hold here, lean over the ball. We do the full to finish, just five. Lift higher, you've got this. Three, last two, give me one. Well done, push yourself up. Let's come up to a standing position. Okay, take the ball under, let's go with our right heel. Okay, just tuck it in. Easier said than done. So make sure the ball is not blown up as much as it possibly could be. You want it a little squishy. So let a little air out if you need. We're down to a second position, we hold. Turn your knees out, abs pull in. We drive up, we go down. Really nice. Again, really effective for these inner thighs. Awesome. Down, drive up. Focus on your knees turning out really wide. And as you come up, drive your heel down into the ball. Amazing. Down, drive your heel down into that ball. Three, you've got it. Two, Last one, we hold the abs, come in. We pulse your legs up and down. Rib cage in, keep breathing. Good. Five, knees turn out, four, three. Are the abs still pulling back? Hold here, push your heel. Down to the ball, release. Down to the ball, release. Stay low in your legs. Awesome, four, release. Three, release. Last two. Last one, hold the squeeze into the ball. Push the heel down a little more. Now we pulse those legs. Amazing. Five, four, three, two. Hold here, push the heel down. Straighten your legs. Take the ball, place it under the other heel. Again, sometimes easier said than done. So take your time, set that up. Big step out, second position. Let's get going. Drive it up. With the first few, are the knees turning out? Are the abs pulling back? That's what I want you to focus on. Down, and the spine is quite long. <sighs> Amazing, really nice. I hope you're enjoying this view behind me. I can't stop looking around, it's beautiful. So keep breathing. That might get you through these inner thighs. Good. <sighs> Three, push it up. Knees turn out, push it up. Hold, abs in, pulse your legs. Good, really nice. Five, four, give me three. 
and two, hold there, push the heel down to the ball, release it. Down into the ball, release it, good. Down into the ball, release. Stay low in those legs. See if you could drop an inch lower, you've got this. Two more. One more, hold the push into the ball, pulse your legs. Amazing. Breathe, turn your knees out. Five, four, only three. Last two, hold there, push your heel down, all the way up. Woo, shake your legs out. One more with the feet balancing on the ball. This time, one heel on, bring your heels really close or touching. Find your balance, it's tricky, so just set yourself up. Rib to hip connection, knees turn out, we drop down, hold. Rib to hip connection, spine is long. Drive up, push your heels down into the ball. I want you to feel like you're picking your kneecaps up. Down, lift. Good, as you come up, abs pull back. Amazing. Two more. One more. Hold, turn the knees a little wider if you can. We pulse, of course. Keep pushing your heels into the ball. Keep turning your knees up. We just do eight, then we're done. Good. Abs in. Four, three, two. Hold there, breathe in. Drive it up. Well done. Take the ball behind the shoulder blades again. Our very last round of abs. Tuck it in. Okay, we're doing well. We straighten the legs, we lean over. We pull one knee into your chest. We rotate to the knee. Hold, reach both arms past the knee. Pulse up. Good. Feel like you're coming up off the ball. You will stay in contact with it, but really lift up, lift up. Good. Five, four, Give me three, twist a little more, two, and one. Take it down, lift the other, reach. Both arms past the knee, up. Big deep breaths. I'm trying to pull my abs in and down. Eight. Good, four, give me three. Last two, hold it there, breathe in. Crunch a little higher. Well done. Take the soles of your feet together, your knees are wide. Nice after that inner thigh work. Lean over the ball. Crunch straight up, your chest lifts up. We lower all the way over, big movement. We come up. So that's really where you get all the changes because you're getting a big movement over. Then you have to do a bigger range of movement to pull yourself up and you're leaning on that unstable ball. Good, if we can, we crunch up. We lift one leg, we keep it in that little turnout diamond position, lower it down, lift the other. I want you to keep this lower gap under the lower back. Awesome, and instead, you'll be able to feel these lower abs connect in. Great. Down. Good. Lift all the way down, hold it up, pulse. Lower the foot an inch, lower the head an inch, just a tiny lean into the ball, pulses. Keep going, we do the pulses on the other side and then you will be done. So work hard with me, eight. Good, tiny pulse down. You've got this, three. Give me two and one. Lower that one, lift the other. Good, let's lower your head, lower the foot. Hold it up and pulse. So it's just a little drop of an inch into the ball. The foot drops just an inch. Awesome. Can you lift a little higher? Focus on your breath. Eight, good. Let's go five and four. Last three, two, hold it there. Crunch a little higher. Take your feet together, your knees are wide. The arms reach back and you rest your head down. Holding the stretch here, really nice stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. Shimmy your head a little closer to the top of the mat so the ball will roll an inch further down your spine. Keep your knees together, keep your feet together, sorry. Your knees really wide, hold here and breathe. Awesome. 
So I want you to hold that stretch for as long as you need to, to release through the upper back. And thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure you comment below and let me know how you like this location and if you enjoyed the Pilates ball workout. Have a wonderful day.